What is the best CRM system in 2022? Now, five years ago, I was using HubSpot, spending about £700 per month on their professional plan. And then two years ago, I discovered ActiveCampaign, which had loads of the same features as HubSpot for just $49 per month. Fast forward to today and a shocking announcement from HubSpot, who have now added some of those key features down to their most affordable plans. And here I am just left wondering if I should be looking at HubSpot again instead of ActiveCampaign. So today we're going to dig into the weeds and try and figure out what is the best CRM system for 2022, HubSpot or ActiveCampaign. If you are new here, then hi, my name is Pete and I help IT business owners to be more productive and grow their IT business. And I say that as someone who's actually been there and grown their own IT business. Firstly, a quick explanation as to why you should be using a separate CRM. And it's because those dedicated CRM tools have a ton more features and so provide a load more benefits than the pretty restricted CRM systems that come as part of all included basically free of charge with your like main business apps. Now for us, we store any leads in our CRM, as well as newsletter subscribers or our key IT contacts for each customer. So rather than clog your main tools up with potentially like hundreds or thousands of contacts and companies, keep that in your CRM. Then once they convert into a client or at the point you send them a quote, that's when you move them over to your other systems. So with the recent changes to HubSpot, let's recompare them to Active Campaign on like a features level to see which one is the better choice. Now feature for feature, both of them have ways to one up another. HubSpot includes live chat and basic bots, whereas Active Campaign charges an extra $19 per user per month for this feature. Now HubSpot also includes ad management features to bring your pay-per-click campaigns into your CRM. You get some basic landing pages, which you don't get in Active Campaign Lite, but you do get it on their plus plans. But things start getting really interesting when I started looking at two things here, pricing and automations. So pricing first, and with HubSpot Starter, it's $18 per month for their kind of marketing campaign for a thousand contacts, or $158 per month for up to 10,000 contacts. Now, if you want any additional features than what I'm covering this video, you'll have to jump up to their insanely priced $800 per month tier for 2,000 contacts, or $1,249 for 12,000 contacts, which is just crazy expensive. However, over in Active Campaign World, a thousand contacts on their light plan is just $29 per month, $49 for their plus plans or $149 for professional, which is pretty similar to HubSpot. But to get up to 10,000 contacts, then it goes to $139 for light, $229 for plus and $339 for professional. So whilst HubSpot does look like it's the cheapest, as you start needing more features and adding more contacts, Active Campaign is still the clear winner for most small to medium businesses because as you're about to find out, things aren't quite as they seem in the start of HubSpot plan. Next is marketing automation. And if you're a business using a CRM, of course, you'll want to automate a ton of things. Like if contact does this, then do that. If they download a form, then send them an email, add them to your mailing list, send them to an email campaign and tag them as a prospect, like all of this things, that kind of stuff. Now I have automation set up for when a new client signs up with me and it fires off a ton of steps to add them to my various systems, sends a VAT invoice and even automatically orders a free gift that gets sent out to them totally automatically. Now with HubSpot, you get 10 automations in their starter plan. And once you outgrow those 10, you have to upgrade to those insanely priced professional like $800 per month price plans, which for most businesses is a hard pass when there are alternatives like Active Campaign, which are much, much more affordable. Looking at my own Active Campaign account, for example, I'm already at 10 automations. So if I did move to HubSpot, like I was thinking of doing, I'm already at the limits of their starter plan. Now, in terms of pricing and plans with Active Campaign, you have the three options. You have Light, Plus, or Professional. And I would personally go with their middle tier, the Plus plan for most businesses. Like you get some cool features like website personalization, marketing attribution, and split automations in the higher tier. But for most people, it won't be necessary. With Plus, you can have up to 25 users instead of just one from Light. So that's great if you want to give like CRM access to any of your team. You've got landing pages, automations, conditional content, SMS integration, deal boards, workflows, and some kind of integrations with the likes of Facebook, WordPress, and, and Stripe as well. But don't get me wrong here. I'm not here to say that HubSpot is a crap CRM because actually far from it. Like HubSpot is actually pretty great CRM for the right businesses. And personally, I feel these are geared more towards the larger businesses or those managing and running campaigns on behalf of others. HubSpot is more than a CRM. Like if you take a look at their website, marketing is just like this tiny part of their overall solution. They have a ticketing system, a whole website hosting platform, and so, so many more features that if you are looking to scale a business and like integrate with ad campaigns and track the whole process through from website through to even like after sales care, then it can be really good 
good for that. So I don't believe that HubSpot is a bad system. It's actually one that I prefer to use personally over Active Campaign. But for the features that you get and for the price, Active Campaign for me wins hands down still to this day, which is great because now I don't need to go and migrate everything across to HubSpot like I thought I would. So if you haven't already, sign up down below for Active Campaign using the link down below. I would recommend the Plus plan personally. And if you want to know more about how to set up your CRM system from how to organize it, track your leads, set up your forms, your email lists and tagging and all the automation stuff, then let me know down in the comments and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers. Bye bye.